In this video, we are going to find prime numbers p such that p to the power 4 plus 2p cubed plus 4p squared plus 2p plus 1 all to the power 5 equals 418,195,493. Before we move on, don't forget to give a like, subscribe to our channel, and turn on post notifications. This equation may seem complicated because the degree of the polynomial at, polynomial at the left is 20. But there are two very easy ways to solve it. The first approach is that I'm going to try to find the integer whose fifth power is equal to this number at the right. Notice that there must be some such integer because at the left we have a sum of a few prime powers. And since a prime must be an integer, that means the sum must be integer as well. Now for fifth powers of integers, we can take a look at the last digit, the ending digit of the power. Notice that if we just focus on the last digit of the base, if we bring it to the fifth power and divide it by 10, the remainder is still that digit. So that means because this fifth power as last digit equal to 3, that means this number is also equal to some digit and next we have 3 all to the power 5. We know this must be a two digit number because for 100 to the power 5, we have 1 and 10 zeros, which is clearly way larger than the number we are we're considering. So we know there must be two digits and we only have one more digit to solve over here. Next we notice that for 50 to the power 5 the number is equal to 3, 1, 2, 5 and then 5 zeros. Really close, also 9 digits. Whereas for 60 to the power 5 is equal to 7776 seven, and then five zeros. So we know that this fifth power must be between 50 and 60 to the power 5. And we know that the last digit is 3, so therefore this digit is actually just 5. We know that this number in yellow is equal to 53 to the power 5. So that means we are supposed to solve p to the power 4 plus 2p cubed plus 4p squared plus 2p minus 52 equals 0. If we try to factorize, we can see that if we put 2 into the equation, it holds. So p minus 2 is a factor, and the quotient would be p cubed plus 4p squared plus 12p plus 26 equals 0. So of course p can be 2, but otherwise we will have p to satisfy this equation. p cubed plus 4p squared plus 12p plus 26 equals 0. But for this, this is actually an increasing function, at least for the case when p is not negative, and when p equals 0 is already 26, so it's always larger than 26, so it's always positive. That means we can conclude that the only solution is p equals 2. So this is the first approach. The second approach is even simpler. Notice that this number at the right is an odd number. So if we have to find a solution for p, that means the base at the left must be an odd number. So that means p to the power 4 plus 2p cubed plus 4p squared plus 2p plus 1 must be odd. So now since these terms must be even, they are all multiples of 2, so that means p to the power 4 plus 1 is odd. Now that means p to the power 4 is even. But since p is a prime, we'll specify that. So 
there's only one choice, which is that p is even, and so p equals 2. Then we can check by putting p equals 2 into the equation. We have the left to be equal to 53 to the power 5, and it indeed holds. The equation indeed holds. So that means this must be the only solution and not final answer. Please feel free to share your ideas in the comments. Thank you for watching. See you next time.